Welcome to 501 Matley, where we work smart, not hard. In today's video, we're given this diagram of a man racking his brains over what is the value of the square root of 6 plus the square root of 6 plus the square root of 6, that infinite nested radical. What is the value? Can you figure it out? Yeah, pause the video here, see what you can come up with. I'm gonna solve it this way. So, let's begin by letting that infinite nested radical equal to some unknown value x. Now, because we are dealing with a radical, let's square both sides. So if we do so, we'll get that six plus the square root of six plus the square root of six plus and so on and so forth infinitely is equal to x squared. But if we look at it, that infinite nested radical we said that was equal to x so we can replace that with x to have an equation 6 plus x is equal to x squared which is a quadratic so let's transpose and have everything on one side set equal to 0 so we'll have x squared minus x minus 6 is equal to 0 which we can then factorize we can factorize that as x plus 2 times x minus 3 so, if x plus 2 times x minus 3 is equal to 0, then either the x plus 2 is equal to 0, which gives us that x is equal to negative 2, but that can't be right because how could the square root of positive 6 add up to a negative 2? So, that leaves us with x minus 3 is equal to 0, which gives us the answer that x is equal to positive 3. And that's the answer indeed. Did you get it right? Now, let's go for a little bit extra. Let's say we had, in general, the square root of k plus the square root of k and so on and so forth, that infinite nested radical. Let that be equal to x. So again, if we square both sides, we'll get that k plus the square root, etc. forever is equal to x squared, which we will replace with x. And transposing, we'll have x squared minus x minus k equal 0. But we won't factorize this this time. We'll use the quadratic formula. x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus square root of c all over 2a. Applying it to this equation, b has a value of negative 1. a is positive 1. And c is negative k. Simplifying, we'll get that x is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4k all over 2. Now, when x was equal to 3, we had that k was 6, which was our original problem, right? And we can verify and see that 3 is indeed equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4 times 6 all over 2. But what will be the value of k when x is 2? Let's see if we can determine that. So, when x is equal to 2, we'll let 2 go in place of the x and then solve for k. First, transposing, we'll have 2 times 2 gives us 4. Then transposing the 1, we'll subtract that from 4, which gives us 3. Then we want to get rid of the radical, so we'll square both sides. If we square up positive, we get a positive, we square a negative, we also get a positive. So we'll have that 3 squared, which is 9, is equal to 1 plus 4k. Transposing the 1, subtracting it from 9, we get 8. Transposing that 4 and dividing 8 by 4, we get that k is 2. Which means that the square root of 2 plus 2 plus 2 and so on and so forth is equal to 2. That infinite nested radical simply works out to exactly 2. How about when x is equal to 1? What would be the value of k? So, like our previous value, let's work it out. Transposing the 2, we multiply. Transposing the 1, we subtract. Squaring both sides. 1 is equal to 1 plus 4k. So, transposing the 1, we subtract and get 0. Transposing the 4 and dividing, we get that k is equal to 0. Which gives us the astonishing result that the square root of 0 plus the square root of 0 plus the square root of 0 infinitely is equal to 1. How can 
an infinite square roots of zeros add up to one because it seems like we have a pattern the square root of six infinitely is equal to three the square root of two infinitely is equal to two and the square root of zero infinitely is equal to one did i really make a mistake in this video here please let me know in the comments below because i'm hurting my head the green man is hurting his head as always if you found this video useful please feel free to hit that like button share with others and subscribe if you're new here